Hello Cancer, welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. Cancer, you won the draw today. Isn't that nice? Because the last time when I was kind of like drawing out the cards, you were the very last one. So here you are, it hasn't been that long ago. Since I did a reading with you, but Spirit must want to get a message out to you because your card came out today to do a reading for you. I'm going to use the Wild Unknown cards. We're going to use the Wild Unknown Animal Oracle and Tarot decks for you, my dear Cancerians. Let's get started, Cancer. All right, we're going to look at the overall energy right now. Any obstacles that you are facing, how these obstacles are showing up in your life, any hidden factors that you're unaware of, what can help you grow right now? The Nightingale is the card that is coming out for you right now. It is interesting. It's actually coming across to me as trying to be heard. It feels like trying to be heard. So there might be someone that you're talking to and they're not really understanding exactly what it is that you're trying to convey. But it's giving me more like, like a lot of voices. Like a lot of voices and trying to be heard above the noise. Trying to be heard above the noise is what's coming through with me for you and that. Trying to be heard above the noise. It's like there's something different here. There's something different about... It's like a different perspective. Okay, I'm going to tell you what's playing out in my mind's eye. Literally, it's really, really clear. It's almost like you're in a huge crowd of people and somebody is doing something. Like maybe it's a bunch of people watching someone trying to put something together, uh, trying to build something. You can, everybody is screaming. It's almost like everyone is yelling advice or cheering this person on. And you can see exactly, but you're like, no, they're not using the right tools. <laughs> they're not using, and it's like, you can't be heard. It's almost like you're not being heard above all the other voices. But there's something important here. It's like, but you need to be heard. <laughs> That's how it comes across. It's like, no, no, because whatever you're saying is kind of like the light in the darkness. It's something that would, oh, okay, that makes sense. But it's like, you can't be heard above all the noise. Okay, that's the overall energy. I've never read that card that way before. It's quite intriguing. All right, let's see how else this energy unfolds. Oh, interesting. The oh, obstacle you were facing at the Cobra. Now, this almost feels like something watching you or something kind of holding you in place. It's intense. Maybe there's, I mean, this could be coming across like you want to say something, but it's like, well, there's somebody else in the room and you can't say that kind of energy. How's this showing up in your life? Fox, you're trying to find a way around this, trying to be really um, tactful. A hidden factor you're unaware of. The peacock, now that's curious. This gives me, um, gives me like a lot of eyes or high intuition. Okay, there's almost, it's almost like there's something that you want to convey here. But it's not coming across or it's not being heard or this is not the right time or these are the wrong people around me right now to say this so I can't say it. So you're trying to... Right now, think about it. I think like a fox is almost like trying to address this energy. I want to say the fox is probably one of the most likely after like a cat, a feline, with their quick reflexes to be able to uh, take down the cobra or move around the cobra without getting hurt. But this is interesting. There's an energy here. This feels like a lot of eyes. It actually honestly feels like a lot of eyes. A lot of eyes, but it's almost, you feel like the obstacle is just one set of eyes. <laughs> what can help cancer grow right now? Oh, the hyena. Be a sneaky mother apple. <laughs> I don't know. There is, okay. You need to be sneaky here. <laughs> Why? Because there's like a lot of eyes. Something that you're not aware of. Okay, look at... <laughs> like, the fox is watching the cobra. And the, all the peacocks are watching the fox. <laughs> and then the hyena's like, okay, I'm going to act like I ain't watching nobody. 
it's so funny he is. Because kind of looking back. Okay. Act like you're not watching anything. You're not looking at anything. Act very nonchalant. Such a curious energy. Cancer, it's like there's something you need to say or something that you want to say. But there's somebody else in the room and you can't say that with them. Or every time you're going to have a conversation with someone, you can't do that. I mean, there's so many ways that that could be coming across, right? Like you could be wanting to talk to a colleague about the boss. Every time you start to talk with the colleague, the boss comes by. Oh. Okay, well, we got to go. Okay, I got to go now. I got to go busy. So, right? Like, it's kind of like that energy or... There could be a conversation that you want to have with your spouse and it's not a conversation to have around your children or your child. So it's like, okay, we're going to have that conversation. And then they come into the room. <laughs> oh no. But this is weird. Okay. It's probably not like those scenarios though, because it feels like there's no, actually a lot of eyes. There's a lot of eyes in this situation. And you're just looking at the one obvious one. So the thing that would help you right now is a, I want to say is to be kind of sneaky it's to play two sides of a fence. Let's actually, it's been a while since I looked up. Let's just look up the hyena because it's coming up as advice. So let's get this one. Like, let's look at all the avenues of that. We're going to go into the tarot too. Don't you worry. The hyena is fire. The, oh, yeah. See? Oh, that's interesting. This is like fight fire with fire. Obstacle is the cobra. All right, I'm going to look at both of them, to be honest. I'm, oh, the cobra. Pausing, waiting, the inner teacher. Oh, that's also interesting because this talks about when this is in balance, um, it's humble and wise. I want to feel like, too, that the peacock is also about um, ego. Maybe you're even like... Maybe there's somebody here who controls the conversation most, most of the time and they come off as being kind of like humble and wise. And it's maybe even hard to get something in or you're not sure if you should even say anything. But then this is the thing that you're not aware of is also, so it could also be related to ego. The cobra represents a teacher or spiritual guardian. The cobra hovers and watches, ever present and ever protecting, ever loving. The essence of the cobra is found deep within us in the form of the inner teacher and manifests externally in those special guides who've led us along our path. What would it feel like to be a student again? What are you ready to learn? Remember the old saying, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. When this is out of balance, it's know-it-all egocentric. That's interesting. So to bring it into balance, take a class, study something. Hmm, that's fascinating. So the obstacle, there could even be something here about the student-teacher dynamic. I don't know. I find when you go to teach somebody something, you often learn an awful lot about yourself too. Um, so that could be like right with ego, breaking down, breaking that down and dismantling it and transforming it. That's the obstacle that you're facing. It's, I don't know, it's not coming off like you guys. Like, you know, you could say this could be an internal obstacle. It's like, oh, it's my own ego that's getting in the way here. And right, the hidden factor. I mean, I don't know, it could be um, a sense of pride or um, arrogance, ego. Ecocentric, talked on that. Okay, let's look at the hyena. This is what can help you right now. So let's just look at that. That's what's gonna help you out. The hyena. Where's the hyena? The hyena. Charming, witty, fun to be around. <laughs> the hyena personality is a jokester and a crowd pleaser. Oh, please the crowd and you'll be heard. <laughs> Maybe. Be a crowd pleaser. It's reminding me of a reading. It was a collective. I can't remember what it was. Just tell them what they want to hear. Oh, that was when we were talking to God. Through Taurus. <laughs> okay, crowd pleaser. But below the surface there are unfulfilled dreams to be realized. When the hyena card appears, it's time to reflect on your reliance on sarcasm and humor to express your truth. 
Huh, are you using jokes to hide old resentments in relationships or to mask things that you feel uncomfortable discussing? Well, isn't that interesting? What would happen if you took your goals seriously? When this is in balance, it's being charming, witty, and fun to be around. When it's out of balance, it's scrappy, petty, and suspicious. To bring into balance, sobriety. It can be like a sobering of the ego or, I don't know, this could be something internal here that you're working on. <sighs> something that you want to say with the nightingale. Let's go. What's the underline? The hawk. Well, that's nice. The winds of change. The winds of change. Spirit guiding you in a direction here. Let's see how the tarot plays out with this. Let's see. Let's see. All right, Nightingale. That's the overall energy. So many cards. I'm so sorry. What is, come on, simmer down. Nightingale. The Ten of, <laughs> the ten of Wands. It's like an obstacle. It is. It's being stuck in all this stuff. There's too much around you. You can't be heard. There's like too much around you and you can't be heard. There's something you want to say and you can't say it. Something that you want to express. The obstacles is Cobra. The Father of Cups. I don't know. I mean, that could be, you could be dealing with someone. Here. Okay. It's either you or someone you're dealing with. I'm just going to keep telling the story. And if you know it yourself, that's cool enough. It gives you some chance to reflect and go, okay, how can I push past this? If it's someone that you're dealing with, same idea. How can I, how can I get through this? How can I, how can we resolve it? Um, Cause I, I kind of want to say that there's someone here that doesn't want to share their emotions. I don't know. They're keeping an awful lot bottled up. I don't know. It could be you, you know, with the crab and keeping everything, all the soft gooey stuff inside, keeping that protected. But there definitely is some type of emotion here that I feel like is being guarded. There's some type of emotion that's being guarded. It looks like it's being guarded because there's something unsaid or there's something that you want to say, but it just, this even feels like the crowd, like this 10 of wands, everything around you. Now it doesn't have to be a crowd. It's just, it could be some type of energy. There's a weird, yeah, something going on here that's blocking some type of conversation or expression. Now it's showing up as the fox. It's also, it's like they have the eight of cups. It's showing up as the fox. It's acting like I'm not, okay, I'm not going to have that conversation. I'm not going to have that talk. That's how it's showing up. Oh, I also feel like there's someone here that you want to talk to, but they're not responding, maybe. They're keeping everything really close to their chest, and they may even also be... Um, say I feel like you've left the conversation <laughs> it looks like you've left the conversation with the eight of cups you're looking at the cobra well the cobra's got nothing to say I've left the conversation okay I've left the cobra that's what it looks like you've left the conversation and maybe it feels like you've been talking to a brick wall or you've been talking to god I haven't heard that term in a long time I never use that with my son <laughs> I used to hear that all the time all the time as a kid I used to hear it from many avenues it's like talking to a brick wall, Cindy. When are you gonna? I don't know. <laughs> Isn't it? It's kind of nice when I bring that one, but it's, but it's almost like that. It's like well, I'm just having a conversation with myself here. That's what it feels like. I'm having a converse. I think I use that one. <laughs> it's uh, like I'm having a conversation by myself. That's what this looks like. It's like I've had. I feel like I'm having a conversation with myself. You're looking. You don't say anything. I don't know how you feel about this. I'm gonna go now. That's what. That's how it's showing up. It's showing up in in your life, kind of like well. All right, I guess this conversation's over. I'm going to go this way. The hidden factor is the peacock. 
Oh, what's going on? Ah, the peacock. Intuition. The hidden factor. Okay, there's something. Your intuition is going to give you a strong and direct answer. Your intuition is going to give you some type of clarity. Let's wait just a second. I'm going into the peacock. I want to say, let's look at it all. I swear in another life, I think I was a Southern American. <laughs> Shout out to all my Southern American viewers. <laughs> I'm not doing it right, but it just comes out. I don't know. Oh, peacock. Confident and kind. All right. Inner beauty, compassion. Assimilator of anything. The beauty of the peacock is unrivaled. It's easy to think it comes from the plumage, but the secret of the peacock is that the beauty resides within and extends outward indefinitely. This adept creature can assimilate or digest all experiences in life, so it does not harbor resentment, conflict, or past pain within its psyche. The peacock type is extremely rare. Not many of us have reached this advanced level of acceptance of the self and others. Well, that's very interesting. With the Queen of Swords. Somebody sees something very clearly here. But it's also interesting because it's like you're talking into the fog. Right? Like that's that's your overall energy. Like I'm talking into the fog here. I can't even see what I'm talking into. What am I talking to? Is somebody there? Hello? Hello, McFly. <laughs> interesting. Hyena. The fool. What can help you grow right now? Well, I might be taking a leap of faith here. Starting from zero. Starting from ground zero. You know, I don't know. I get a stronger vibe from these cards. I'm going to go with it too. Like this, this hidden factor here. I'm going to follow this for you here. Is the intuition. Because I'm going to continue on this. It honestly really does. It feels like... There's a sense of observation in this reading. This one here, right? This is the obstacle. This one is watching. It almost feels like it watches in a way that it has even body language that creates a block. No. I'm, like, I don't, I'm not sure how to do it. <laughs> I'm doing it right. But it's like that. And it's emotional. Like, I'm not even going to tell you how I feel. I'm not going to tell you how I feel. So... I do feel like, though, this is you watching them. And it's like, well, I don't think you feel anything. Or I'm not in this. Or I guess I'm going to go now. It has that energy, right? I'm ta you're, talking to, you're talking to yourself. I'm just making sure I press record. <laughs> the cards are not trying to tell me something. <laughs> you're talking to yourself, Cindy. I, it's been a long time since I've done that. But I was, remember, there's been a few times where I'm like, doing a reading. I'm like, I don't feel like anyone is here. It's odd. And I'll look up and I'll realize you didn't press record. <laughs> there was nobody there. I do feel like there's more than what meets the eye here. That's the, oh, that's the hidden factor. There's more than what meets the eye here. There's more than the obvious playing out in this one. I feel like, should you pretend? Should you pretend? I'm going to pretend I'm having a fresh start. I'm going to pretend like I'm starting off new here. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Because maybe this, maybe it's almost like energetically playing somebody else's hand here. Like, I don't know. The hermit. Wow, that energy. The seven, well, yeah. This is like somebody who, you know, I don't know. Maybe for some of you too, it could be somebody you're getting to know. And maybe you're, you've kind of talked a bit about yourself. And yeah. And this person has not like said nothing. So like, well, Okay. Why is this coming out though? Like I don't know. Why is this coming out? Why is what's the importance of this importance of this for cancer? Because I'm just thinking, well, you know, I mean, you could do that. You could think, okay, well, this person is clearly not interested in exchanging information about themselves or getting to, you know, like I don't know, you're talking to a brick wall. It's like you're talking to a brick wall. Why is this? I'm gonna pull more tarot cards, but let me just get a a wild unknown. Why is this? You know. We're reading for cancer. Oh, well, a rebirth. Because there's a rebirth. 
Spirit's creating a rebirth here. I like that it has bird wings. I mean, you're coming out as the nightingale. So, oh, and the dolphin. Wow, rising and healing, rising and healing. Like, maybe this is something that you've been dealing with in life. I don't know, right? Maybe you've been dealing with this in life. It's like talking to a brick wall. You share a little bit about yourself. Nobody talks about them. Hmm. I think that's a clear red flag in things in life, too. You know, like if you talk about yourself and you think that you're developing a relationship with another person, but they never really say anything about themselves, that's a clear red flag. It's like, well, I don't think this person is interested. <laughs> And I'm going to, I'm saying that, and I know, because I get a lot of people that, well, not a lot, but there's a few that come to my channel and say, well, I don't talk to anybody anymore. I won't share anything. And I know we, you know, there's, anyways, I'm just saying, when you meet people that are healthy and that's your approach, you become a red flag. <laughs> it's, it's true. But, you know, we all have things that we're going through. So, you know, when in Rome or whatever, <laughs> but I'm just going to put that out there. It does become a red flag. I want to say to even perhaps like indifference and um, uh, avoidance. It's like, oh, okay. Nightingale, Ten of Wands. Nightingale, Ten of Wands. Oh, the Ace of Cups. Well. Yeah, I mean, it's actually, it's really nice. It's like trying to share a really nice part of yourself here. <laughs> Talking to a brick wall. All right. Go, see? Oh, even open. I'm open. I'm going to be open with how I feel. You know, it's almost like you're getting to know somebody. And then you say, like, you know what? I actually really like you. I really enjoy having, like, conversations with you. <laughs> so they just sit there. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> like, all right, then. Obstacle you are facing. Cobra, Father of Cups. <laughs> yeah. That just feels very unapproachable. It's Cobra, and Father of Cups is Scorpio energy. The <laughs> Nine of Wands. This is something, maybe this is something you've been dealing with for a long time, or maybe this is a deep hidden wound. Like, maybe there's a wound here about maybe not even being sure if you should share yourself, your feelings, or <laughs> talk to anybody. Like, well, I don't know. I always get this, you know, this blank stare, and nobody says anything back, so... That's a long wound. That's a long staircase here. Maybe this is someone you've been dealing with like this for a long time. I don't know. The Nine of Wands. The Four of Swords. I try to get three. Can we get three? Thank you. And the Mother of Pentacles. Wow. Maybe it's your mom. <laughs> Maybe it's your mom. Maybe it's your mom. Maybe it's... um. Maybe it's your partner. Healing. It's been a long time healing. Yeah. I don't know. I want to say that there's even like maybe some type of a childhood wound here. I was picking that up in something else again, like not being heard. I don't know when that was. I just feel like I, so many readings I do now, I can't even put like the private readings and the collective and the, <laughs> oh, all right. How's oh, showing up? The Fox and the Eight of Cups. Oh my God, the Eight of Cups came out. Look at that. You got double Eight of Cups. Oh, it's almost like two. I want to say there's two. Two walking away. All right. Well, <laughs> when you're, I don't know. I, I kind of want to say when you're having a conversation by yourself or you're just sharing your emotions and nothing is reciprocated, it looks like you're talking to a brick wall. That everybody's walked away here. Why is the Fox here? The fox is also the representation of the perfect partner. Oh my god. The nine of swords and the daughter of... <laughs> the nine of swords and like the page of wands. This is like a mental... You know, for some of you, maybe there's something you've been trying to express and you can't. And now this person's like, oh, okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm out of here. I don't know what's going on with cancer. No, yeah, it could. I said, you know, it could be you. It could be someone you're dealing with. Because I could see that too. But there's some type of emotional block here. Like uh, the opportunity to express it. 
the words to say it. I don't know what it is, but there is an emotional block there. And how it's showing up in your life. I want to say, I feel like somebody's maybe even walking away. I'm not sure. <laughs> There's a couple of, you got that with the Eight of Cups, like no longer emotionally invested. Now, how something shows up is not necessarily what it is because the obstacle is the Cobra and the, f the King of Cups. Maybe you're dealing with someone here who has some type of a deep, long-term wound here about sharing their emotions. Because now it's like, well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> so now it's all like in your head. I really don't know what to say. The Hidden Factor. Well, the Peacock and the Mother of Swords. I mean, that's very nice. So, that, the Hidden Factor is a nice energy. The Peacock. Especially for this situation with the Mother of Swords, like, seen clearly. What? The peacock. Oh, the Father of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. father and mother of swords in the same spot and this is maybe this is um two people of the like of the same mindset two people of the same mindset but there's an emotional block here so somebody's decided i'm not going to be emotionally invested anymore and then it becomes almost like um communication strictly on an intellectual level or a fact-based level And this creates distance. Creates distance, difficulty. The Mother of Swords. The Mother of... You're getting repeats. The Eight of Wands and the Mother of Swords. Okay, so the Father of Swords. This energy. It's maybe watching. There could be something here to do with even expected roles. There could be something here about like expected roles in a home, in a workspace. I want to say the Mother of Swords is going in the right direction. The Father of Swords is kind of feeling left out here. And the Father of Cups, so, yeah, there's there's a masculine, it doesn't have to be like a, a male or a masculine person, but there's the masculine energy here is having difficulty conveying something. And it's like, because of that, everybody's left the conversation. <laughs> Hyena, this is what can help you grow right now. It's being witty and charming and having a new beginning. <laughs> oh, there you go. I don't know, this just, this whole thing felt really difficult. I kind of like your advice, like the thing that, oh, the Empress, that's very nice. Very, very nice. The Fool, a fresh, witty, charming. The Strength card and the Father of Pentacles. It's to grow abundance. It's to nurture with wit and charm. Oh, as opposed to attacking with wit and charm. That's something here, <laughs> because, right, it did talk about the hyena like that. Like, it could be, I could be sarcastic because I'm wounding, but this is to be witty and charming because I'm helping to, I'm helping things to flourish. Taking, um, taking a fresh start. But it's odd. Strength is kind of like, well, having the courage. I want to say it's having the courage to have a fresh start here. Um, there's a masculine. Okay, so that's interesting. There's the Mother of Pentacles, there's the Father of Pentacles. They're at opposite ends of the table. The Mother of Pentacles is the obstacle, and the Father of Pentacles is showing up as what can help grow. Now, the hidden factor here is Mother and Father of Swords. And it's almost like the, the Mother of Swords sees and is going in the right direction. The Father of Swords is feeling left out. That's the hidden factor. Um, I'm kind of wondering here if for some of you, you've been through a difficult relationship or you've been through situations where you have felt unheard or emotions have not been reciprocated in some way. 
this is honestly, it's kind of like don't allow that to become a wound for yourself and, 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 and catch yourself if you are maybe even falling into um, extreme sarcasm and it's kind of like to hurt people before they hurt you. It is to turn that around and just kind of be like fun and witty. How can you make people grow? Like, you know, a lot of times it's kind of like laughing at ourselves and then, um, or even, yeah, laughing at yourself a little bit for someone else to feel comfortable with. Like, you know what, it's not so serious here. It's okay, I can take a joke. <laughs> yeah, the Six of Pentacles at the bottom. Yeah, the Five, the Star, the Hanged Man. The Four of Cups and the Hanged Man. It's almost like looking at, getting a new perspective on things that haven't worked out or things getting new perspective on a negative attitude because <laughs> I mean that's what the four of cups is and then the star the wheel of fortune and six of pentacles that's almost like seeing a shift in perspective a big shift in perspective honestly it's almost like something that once seemed like meh ends up being like this is my freaking blessing so it's a shift in attitude after talking to a brick wall Oh, it's going to be interesting. So I'm going to go do the extended uh, cancer. If you want to follow me over there, I'm going to do what what lesson is the universe trying to guide you through right now? <laughs> interesting. And where does this lesson take you? What lesson is the universe trying to guide you through right now? And where does this lesson take you? Thank you so much, cancer. Until next time, be gentle with yourself. Bye.